where the fuck am I gonna put you? Over here. Oh yeah. Welcome to the Rick Bork channel where the beer's always cold, language fucking sucks, my shit's always broken, and your opinion doesn't matter. Bork Fest 2022 is July 29th and 30th, so come on over and have a beer and have a good time, and you can regret yourself later. Ah. Well, good. Here. 160. Perfect. She's just perfect. Uh, when it gets colder out, I run her up to. When we get in the fucking depths of winter, run her to like 170, 175 for your set point. Uh, um, we got a night's worth of firewood left. So I'll have to get some more at night. Haul some home. Um, pick them fucking things up. But, I'm a fucking cow. That fucking 31 that half her such a fucking bitch. She's going fucking, she's going in the fucking freezers. Who soon as her calf gets big enough. She's one calf and done. Fucking cunt. She might not even make calf, I don't know. I keep fucking, she keeps pissing me off. She going, uh, just jump over the fucking fence. Right up over the top. Doesn't even care. I'm out, and then go stand over there wait to be put back in. <sighs> Sometimes when you let them have a calf, they straighten their shit out. I doubt it, but... So I go do those chores and there's not really anywhere to put you, but I'll get you chores fucking fidget this weekend. We'll do them all, so. I'm gonna set this down and get that done and I'll bring it back. Thursday night, 
It's time to get this fucking blue truck out of here because it's been a righteous pain in my ass for, I don't know how many weeks it's been in here, but it's been a lot, so. No! Fuck. You only get so many fucking treats in there. You want me to kick your ass outside? Go outside. Yeah, I didn't think so. Fucking doors can be open anyway. It's 81 fucking degrees in here. It got a little warmer than I expected today, and I had to bypass her and get a little bit too far closed, and yeah, that shit happens, so. Um, go outside. Go outside. Fuck out of here. Go outside. Yeah, I don't want that is either. Um, boy, you listen well. Son of a bitch, you listen like your mother. She's not at home either. Um, we gotta put the pan in that box. We gotta undercoat the rest of that motherfucker. We got two cans of undercoating left. Perfect. Um, so that's gonna go as far as it goes. It's more than enough to do that part, and then I might zing zang a little bit on the front up there. Not too much, cause we got other plans that other projects gonna happen on this truck yet. So um, we gotta do that. Front shocks, change oil. Fuck out of here. Fuck off. Fuck out of here. Maybe we'll wipe down the inside and vacuum it. I don't know. Don't count on it. But so let's uh, stop fucking around, Ricky Dicky, and let's get to work, shall we? We gotta get uh, we gotta drag out that piece of sheet metal and cut a pan for this motherfucker. So let's go. Oh, we gotta do wiper blades too. Well, fuck, and just like that, a beer's gone. Huh. Um. All right, so I zing zing zanged out a fucking. This is a thirteen or seventeen by twenty-two. Because the bottom of our box is 13 this way and 18 that way. Or no, 16 that way. 13 by 16. 18. For fuck's sake. It's 18 inches. 13 by 18. Jesus. Um, so what I need to do is two inches in from each side, we need to mark it. So we'll mark it. Yeah. You gonna mark it? Are you in the market or are you gonna mark it? Ah! That is dumb. God. For fuck's sake. You think you could be talented for once? What? No. Talent. Ah! Ship sailed. And I was never on it. I missed the talent train. So two inches all the way around, because that's what's going to give us our lip to come up inside the box to make up for the rusty edges. Otherwise, that way we don't have to cut fucking all kinds of pieces and shit. Otherwise, you're trying to make little fucking pieces that'll drop down and hold the pan. So you'd need like little fucked up pieces of angle iron to go in there. So I'm showing you how to get rid of, away from all that. Aren't I? Where the fuck did my angle iron go? I have a piece of angle iron over here for using for a straight edge. What did I do with that? Oh, here it is. Got it. Ah! I need more beer for this, I swear to God. I've only had one. We're not far enough into the happy sauce to make this shit work yet. Here it is. One of them. You gotta stand off your mark a little bit if you're gonna use that shit. Cause use a uh, soapstone. Got my hole. I found my holder again, but now I just grab my piece of soapstone. You just gotta be. If you can carry around a whole piece of soapstone, you're a gentle soul. I'm just saying. I can wreck everything, but I have a whole piece of soapstone. I'm just saying. If you've never messed with soapstone, you don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, but that's fine. It's fine. So, uh, 
Need my gloves. I don't like the sparks. And they make, and they make coke too. It's 81 degrees in here and I'm gonna put on a fucking welding coat cause that's gonna be fucking fun for my fat bastard ass. Woo! Sweating already. <laughs> mm. Yeah, good, good, good. good. Fuck him, 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 fuck Fridge is lacking a little bit today because it's so hot in here. So there it's lacking. We're just rotating and we're just gonna rotate stock. Perfect. Oh, oh yeah. Trust me, I drink them fast enough to hang up. Pop. See how that worked? As soon as my like my fucking lips hit the beer can, I knew where my fucking I knew where my welding gloves were. It's just how this shit works. It's a chemical reaction. Well, put off, put on a cutoff wheel. Put off a cutoff wheel. Ha <laughs> ha. Should probably put this over here. I don't want to fucking burn that one with sparks too. Like I burned your camera lens there. I don't know. Maybe I do have to get there for one because it's kind of fucking with shit now. Um. I use this uh, clap wheel to take the sharp edges off from cutting that sheet metal. Well, that's what we're Right? Oh, yeah. We're up, Doug. We're only scoring. We're not even cutting. So we gotta cut the corners on this. Here, hold on. We're literally gonna cut corners here. That's what I do. This line, that line. What's what's we just pretend. So in that far you wanna cut that line. Right? Cut them all. Get too fancy here. What's up? What's up? Way thinner than the piece that I put in the back one back there. Reason for that. time and all that other happy shit so
Okay, so our score. Let's go bang this thing out. It's a mess back here and we haven't had time to clean it up, but we're working on it. If you see the rest of the shot we are working on, try to be diligent, but we got a few things coming here before we gotta get too much snow and next couple of weeks we gotta get too much snow. Told you you wasn't gonna like it, but I'm gonna say. So, it's a little bit crude and rude. You see all the ripples in that? You can work on that from here. You actually want to ease that sucker in a little bit. Not that far. But maybe it's just beveled in just a little bit. So that way, it slides up in there easier. Now you can push them out and weld them in. So, there you go. I am more uh, liquid liquid encouragement here. <laughs> mm. So I'm gonna jump in that son of a bitch and zing zang that motherfucker out of there. Ain't much to see because I don't have a good way of showing you. I still need to make you a little fucking. I need to build you some protection with the protection protective safety glass that I have up there. I need you to get you a little little box to put you in. <laughs> or one of them things. So for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna um, we're just gonna turn the lights out on you and I'll do it myself. Where'd my light go? I got I gotta charge my uh, Costco light because I forgot for a hot minute and then the damn thing goes dead. I will say I love that light, but this some bitch will last way longer. It's more compact. Well, it's a it's a more expensive light, and you get, you know, one of those things you get what you pay for, other than that fucker strobes when it's on low. So there you go. So, this pan's in here. Wing ding, zing, zang. I need to, uh, you better watch what the fuck you're doing. I need to, uh, clamp the sun bits off on the front here, cuts. Kind of like 
like that. And uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want to place everything. This this edge out here, front driver's corner, is rusted the fuck out. And somebody even tried body filler and shit on it at one point. I don't know that that's factory. I wouldn't think so. It'd be kind of dumb if it was. But it is what it is. I don't think we need the cutoff wheel really anymore. Uh, or the four and a half inch angle grinder, but we'll uh, we'll put that shit away. Um, I need my hammer. Hammer. Look down here. What I need to do, like I said, bend those edges in so they they work better. So you see how uh, it just makes that taper fit up in there nice. So what we'll do is we'll start over here. We'll go over here. Look at, over there. And we'll start welding that side off. That one's pretty fucking minty. Um, so we'll zing zang it along there. Hey, babe. My wife is here. She actually came to see me. With every shot so far. Shit. I'm not that bad of a shot. Oh, that's true. So we're gonna have to start over here on this side and start stitching that across and as the steel heats up, we'll be able to push it back and uh, weld it back in and et cetera, et cetera. So we'll get shit set up and I'll bring it back. Well, we're not getting fancy here. We're just stitching this son bitch in. Because, uh, well, frankly, fuck it. in there. Where's my hammer? My wife showed up and I got distracted. She's ornery. No, she does that shit. In all fairness, I probably make her ornery, but that's okay. I think that's okay anyway. stitch in here. Oh yeah. Push that bastard in there. You see that? I don't know. We're just not ironing for fuck's sake. We're not grinding paint and shit. I'll tell you right now. You just fill your wires through down.
How's that for you? That worked pretty good, huh? Here, back here, anyway. The paint will burn right out of there. You don't need to worry about that shit. What did we do that for? You shut that shit off on me or no? I think the battery's dead. Alright, fine, fuck it. Bring it back. Premiere's coming on anyway. I probably need to get this routine around here where we actually like charge batteries and shit at night. For fuck. Uh, oh well. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna get a beer, watch my premiere, and I'll bring it back. Yeah, I know it didn't fucking work, but whatever. All right, so an interest to try not to show you here tonight. So here's what I did. I finished stitching that son bitch in there. In the bottom, we got that bottom pan in. I need to touch up the edge of the blue paint and where I was winging dinging with the hammer there. Uh, inside, I'm not terribly worried about grease and oil and all that shit's gonna get in the inside. It's gonna be fine. I threw the shelves back in there. Just random spot, doesn't have to make sense right now. Doesn't matter. So, a little bit of fucking blue paint. What the hell is that blue paint that I was going to use? This one. That seems like a partial can. Um, rust down on this bottom edge. You see that rust and shit? I'm not too worried about it right now. It looks like the rest of the truck. That's the way it fucking matches. Um, we might do something about that later on. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're getting under time constraints here where shit's got to either fucking... I gotta, gotta shit or get off the pot here and get these projects done because I got their shit to do and only so much time to get it done, so. I know you, uh, you working folk know that. Y'all hard working people know what I'm saying, but it's, uh, it's a never ending constant fucking battle right now. And uh, I got a lot of shit to get done in the next seven days so i can go get that damn combine from chuck so it's uh it's gonna be a hell of a ride and a fuck of an experience but we're gonna we're gonna figure it all out and we'll make it happen so i gotta we're gonna change oil i'm gonna forego the front shocks for now the front shocks aren't blown they're not bad they're just rusty um so we're gonna worry about those on another date. Trust me, we got more stuff to do on this thing, so that's not the end of the world. We're gonna change oil, we're gonna throw wiper blades on it, and we're gonna undercoat that box, get the fuck out of here, so. I'll bring it back here in a minute. All right, well, we uh, dropped the oil on this thing. There's not a lot to see there. It's a 16 millimeter head on the drain plug. Drop that, uh, take that out of there, drop your filter off. 1372 Napa Gold. Toby always ran the motorcraft filters. We're going to the uh, Napa Gold. It's fine by me. Um, ooh. We might want to clean that funnel, eh? <laughs> we'll clean the funnel and then we'll talk oil. So, if you guys uh, want some expert advice. I don't want to just take it, by the way. So I'm actually not taking this advice tonight on this truck. He'll approve of what I'm doing, but if you got questions about oil, ask Luke Strasser in the comments. The man is uh, educated. He, he he actually he's legit educated in fucking oil. I mean he's he he knows what the fuck he's talking about, and he'll give you good advice. 
So, he's good shit. Just, he's a straight fucking, he's a straight shooter and he's a good shit. So, my nose itches. It's not because I'm lying. Fucking A. All right. Um, oil cap says 520. 520 anything can pretty much fuck right off in a vehicle like this. Or anything for that matter. Funnel. We're going to need a light so you can actually see what the fuck we're doing in here. Up in here. Look at that. We bust out that little light. Ha <laughs> ha. That thing's kind of fucking minty though, isn't it? We need... Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that shit. Okay. Explain to you what we're doing here. Five W thirty full synthetic. So when it's on sale, five W thirty full sin is less money than conventional oil. I do have some conventional blue jug, but I thought it was in five thirty. I have conventional ten thirty. So they had five thirty on sale, so I went and picked up a case. Better for the winter time. Um, Luke had recommended going with a. Um, with a synthetic blend, which is pretty much standard now. Like conventional oil is pretty much all but gone. Other than specialty applications like straight 30 and things like that. Straight 30, straight 40, whatever. Um, it's either synthetic blend or full synthetic. I did elected to go with full synthetic on this. Especially because we're going to be taking this thing on a trip. She's going to get some towing miles on her and... I just figured, you know what, we'll just treat the old girl right and give her a little fancy oil. And I know Squatch always was always a 520 guy. Um, I always ran the correct oil, correct or the recommended weight oil. I shouldn't cor say correct. And I'll explain myself here in a second. Throw that fucker in there, let her drain out. I think, uh, you think, you know, you can fucking sit up. You know, you just kind of get bored in my story. So most of this information comes from Luke Strasser, and he'll uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Most of this, this 5.4 engine was created for industrial applications. Got to remember, up until then, you had, like, the 460, 302, that was, and then you went to the 4.6 and the 5.4. The 5.4 was kind of going to be the base across the board. And industrial applications, diesel, gas, everything. They want to run 1540 and everything. This thing's made to run 1540 in the summertime. Wintertime, yeah, you may as well thin her back a little bit. You know, make it so it's not so hard on the engine. So we're going with 520 or 530 right now. Um, if you feel good about your battery, which I think this battery is pretty fucking new, actually. Then uh, you can go with 1030 if you wanted to. Especially in the full synthetic, you'd probably be okay. Um, but we're going with 530, full send, send her all the way, it'll be fine. So, watch your sales too, by the way, at Napa, especially right now, ball camp. I don't know when you're going to see this or if the sale's going to be over. Ball camp stuff is on fucking sale because they're switching to a different brand or a different supplier. So, it's on clearance and on sale, 20% bag sale. Yeah. You gotta load up. I mean, you just have to. You'd be stupid not to. So, we're gonna dump six in here. And, uh, she takes six. This is no fucking fancy seven quart, eight quart, nine quart fucking bullshit. Six quarts. Away we go. Yeah, I was gonna put wiper blades on this thing, but they check out pretty good. Um, so we're gonna hold off on that because those bastards are expensive and I don't wanna. Use them up if I don't have to right away. I'm sure it'll need them at some point. So, other thing I should mention, uh, we did check the air filter. Brake fluid's good because we did brake work. Um, coolant level. So, you look at where your uh, coolant level is on this thing. You can probably see it there. Maybe. There you go. Um, it's well below the minimum line by about an inch. Shouldn't say well below the minimum line. Um, these five fours with this degas bottle... That fucking level will sit there forever. It'll never overheat. You'll never have a problem with it. 
you can fill it to the max line the next time you go to change oil on this fucking thing it'll be right back right back down there again i believe that's because of how the system just how the system works and how where the system's at where it goes no fucking clue but it will disappear every fucking time anybody that has a fucking has kept track of it fucking knows this for a fact i've never seen one that actually runs at the maximum line for an entire service none of them leave her there fucking call her a day so uh yeah all that's really left to do is fire this old bitch up and give her a test run and uh that's about it we're gonna clean up the inside a little bit give her a little wipe down a little vacuum and You don't need to worry about that. We might even take her for a beat yet tonight, so I'll bring you back. <laughs>